In this demonstration, you're introduced to surface modeling in AutoCAD. There are two different types of surfaces that you can create. Procedural surfaces are associated and have a history, and NURBS, non-uniform rational B-splines, surfaces are non-associative and do not have a history. NURB surfaces enable you to create surfaces closer to how you would operate in the real world. As part of your introduction to surface modeling, you see how to use procedural surfaces to create components on a bicycle frame using basic surface modeling tools. First, let's complete the front fork tube using a basic loft and path method. I've drawn the shape at the bottom of the fork on the right side. Now, I can match that shape up to existing geometry so I end up with a uniform looking part. After I add the path, I can control the uniformity of the tube with a simple 2D spline. The surfacing commands also include traditional solid modeling commands. Here, I can use the extrude command to extrude the spline shape to a set distance at the end of the line. The command works just like the extrude command for solids, which keeps me from having to learn another command. I can use guides to control the design of the top tube. Notice how easily the shape is created with a few simple clicks. I only need to know how I want the object to look at certain points. If I have guides in place, I can get a nice smooth shape from one profile section to another. Again, by using guides, AutoCAD enables me to be as creative as I want to be in my design. Next, I use the sweep command to create the right side upper and lower stays. Similarly to how I extruded earlier, I can use other 2D objects to determine the overall shape. Again, my design is coming together quickly and easily with a few simple clicks and sketches.
With simple 2D objects, I can use a basic solid modeling command to make the wheel rim. Using the rotate command, I specify a profile shape and a circle that the axis revolves around. Finally, I'll create the seat surface by sketching in the geometry edges of what I want it to look like. Then I can use those edges to network them into a surface. Here, I only need to know what I want the object to look like by drawing in the boundaries, and then I let the software do the work for me. In summary, the surfacing commands are very powerful tools that enable you to design freely. These commands provide you a means to make changes easily. Once my design is final, I can take the surfaces and convert them into a solid model for manufacturing. With the surfacing commands, designing freeform consumer products has never been easier.